Guys, I finally got one. In 1963, one of the coolest and most radically different guitars for Gibson came out. The Firebird, the Phoenix, it rose from the ashes. Epic. Now, this is of course not a 63 Firebird, this is a 2017. The old school ones are mad money, and I just wanted to kind of capture the vibe. So this one is the 2017 T, but let me tell you about some of the specs that are still finished. <laughs> Now let's talk about the specs here a little bit because there are a lot of you know traditional specs on this guitar. For starters, it's enormous. This guitar is a big old mama. I don't even know how to describe it other than it's just enormous. <laughs> it is a huge guitar. So um, one of the coolest things, which I've never owned a guitar like this, well, I've never owned a Firebird before, is the fact that it is a neck through design. And if you don't know what that is, the piece of the wood that makes up the neck is the same piece that goes through here. Most guitars are bolt-on necks or set necks, like most other Gibsons. This one, no, this is all one big old slab of mahogany. Now, you have these wings here that are actually glued on. So there's essentially three pieces of wood glued together to make this. But the neck and the main body that the pickups are mounted to is all one piece. That's why it's actually raised up. That was all part of the design. So. I think they were like, it looks cool, bro, let's leave it. And they were like, yeah, bro. As for the pickups, these are called true Firebird tone pickups, or something along those lines. And, you know, Firebird mini humbuckers are different than what was in like a Les Paul Deluxe or something because while the other ones used pins, the Firebirds used a solid magnet that just had no pole pieces so they could wrap it less, lower winds, brighter sound, lower output pickups. They're their own thing. It's kind of like when you call a Jazzmaster pickup a P90. Everyone freaks out. They're not P90s! Same situation. Firebird pickups are a little bit different than your traditional mini humbuckers. So let's talk about the tuners here for a second, because these are totally not traditional to the Firebird. Uh, if you know the original ones, they use those big old banjo style tuners. These are the much more modern Steinberg tuners. These are locking, super smooth. I, when I, I originally was kind of turned off to the fact that I'm like, those are the banjo tuners. And then as I got used to them, I'm like, you know what? These things are pretty sweet. I really like them. And uh, I'm leaving them. You know, I was gonna originally think about changing them, totally leaving them, they rock. So the Firebird was originally designed by a car designer, Ray Dietrich, and unfortunately, he designed a guitar that was just not cost-effective to make. That's why I kind of called it Gibson's Big Flop. It's a classic case of new guitar came out, was too expensive for them to make to actually make a profit off of it, and it kind of caught on years later. It's been in and out of production, and that's just kind of the story of the Firebird. Even now today, you can look at the 2019s that came out, I don't think they're in production anymore. Sweetwater doesn't have them. Uh, Gibson says it's out of stock on their website and it has said that for a year or so now. So kind of the story of the Firebird is it has these little renaissance periods and then it's not popular anymore. Certainly not like the Les Paul and SGs and all that stuff of the same era. So there you have it. Personally, I love it. I love the vibe. These, if there's one takeaway that you can take from this is that the guitar has an incredible amount of vibe. It doesn't feel like anything else I've played before. I dig it. If you haven't checked out a Firebird, check them out. And we're going to bounce on out of here, guys. If you would, like, comment, and subscribe. Yo, I'll see you all later. And just end it bluesy. Firebird style.